I'm always looking for ways to improve my EDC or everyday carry system. And I do that by looking at other people's systems like I'm doing in this video. I'm showing y'all my pocket dump in this video. But I also read a lot of comments that y'all make on my videos as well as you know other forums and discussions that are out there. So I encourage y'all to let me know what your everyday care system is in the comment section down below. Uh, that way I can either expand or hopefully even streamline my system so that it is, I'm getting as much capabilities as I can with taking up as little bit as pocket space as possible. Now, I don't necessarily keep all of these items on me every single day. I just wanted to note that because some people just go crazy and get really upset by how much I carry in my own pockets. They, they, I personally offend some people with my decisions, uh, but I wanted to make this video to show you what I regularly keep on me and it will probably would surprise you and it definitely surprise a lot of my coworkers how much junk I do keep in my pockets. So um, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, I'm going to leave links for all the gear that you can see both on the table as well. I'm going to show you off screen in the description box down below. So be sure to check that out if you're curious about any of the gear. Before we get started, though, I also do want to ask another question is how do you keep your system in place and organized whenever you're at home and you're not walking around with all this in your pockets. So for me, I personally, I'll throw everything in my hat because I, I know whenever going to work, I'm going to have my cover with me. So I'm not going to walk outside and uh, forget my hat. Otherwise I'll turn back around and, and realize that I need it. So that's what I use. Sometimes if I'm traveling, like I'll bring this little guy, which is a Maxpedition basically EDC carrier, everyday carry carrier. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll annotate it down below, like I said. But you know, this, this folds out flat and I can put this in my luggage and that way I can keep everything up organized and in here. I really don't like feeling like I need to go on a scavenger hunt every time I wanna find my gear before I leave the house. Of course, I also keep gear on me when I'm walking around the house and I'll, I'll show you that at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started without further ado. I'm just going to go from left to right. So the first up is a G-Shock watch. Uh, I, I, I was kind of avoiding the G-Shock bandwagon for a while, but I saw this in the BX was on sale, so I grabbed it. What I like about this is, yeah, it has all the different modes that you're used to for modern watches, and it has time zones uh, that I can switch between. So that really helped whenever I was stationed in Korea and when I'm over here in Europe. I can figure out what central time is when I'm calling back home or whatnot. Uh, but I like the watch. It's durable and I've had it for, I think, two years at this point. I also like the silicone Kalo ring. It's only around 10 bucks and it saves my actual wedding band from getting scratched, whether it be working out or walking around at doors. And also, if I lose this, I mean, who, who cares? You know, um, not nearly as expensive as replacing the, my gold band. And then I have this watch uh, bracelet compass, which is only around like eight bucks and it works really well. So I like having, always having a, a compass with me, especially since I, I do field exercises from time to time. So I like having that capability. Other items that I keep on me is this Maxpedition wallet. I forget the three letter acronym, but it starts with an L. Like I said, I'll have it down below in the description box, but uh, I got it at last SHOT Show, so about a year ago and it's held up really really well i'm not going to open it up because i got my ids in here as well as my credit cards uh, but if you're looking for a minimalist wallet for yourself or somebody else that holds up um, or, and then maybe you want to have that kind of a tactical look but still practical i would recommend this little guy i don't always have a big lighter uh, but if i don't have my leatherman sheath on me which i'll show you why that that is in a minute I like to have this in you know, maybe the fifth pocket of my jeans. And then also usually have a little handkerchief in one of my back pockets. So basically whatever pocket I don't have my wallet is, uh, then I'll have this one in the other pocket. And it doesn't really, it's not really comfortable to sit on and having a handkerchief is good, not just for, you know, eating and, uh, you know, whatever other task or if you cut yourself real deeply. So I've used, uh, handkerchiefs for both of those things on a day-to-day -day basis, but survival situations, worst case scenarios, uh, handkerchiefs come in a variety of different uh, 
uses in those situations. And then moving right along is the CRKT Minimalist. So for those of you who have seen my everyday, my favorite everyday carry fixed blade video, I'll save you the trouble and won't go over all the details on this, but it's about 20 bucks. It's lightweight, compact, ergonomic, basically everything that you want in a beater knife or a fixed blade knife. So very comfortable to wear. And let's go here. What's what's in this little wallet, this pocket? So for those of you who are stationed overseas, like myself, maybe a uh, a knife or maybe sometimes even fixed blade knives or locking folding blades won't work for you. Well, that's where the UK pen knife comes into play. Now there are uh, less expensive slip joints, and this isn't even that expensive for a Spyderco knife but I'll, I'll show you some other slip joints here after this. But this one by far is my favorite. Uh, you, you get, I, I've been able to process uh, several dozen uh, boxes, uh, cardboard boxes with this and, it, and it's never once closed on me. And a uh, part of that is just because of the way it's designed, but also if something were to happen where something hit the back of the spine of the blade or if I bear, bore down on it or whatnot, it's not going to close on my fingers or you know affect my tendons or anything like that so i really like the spider co uk pen knife also if i just don't want to have a really big knife showing i just want to kind of have a small one hidden then i'll use the, uh, the case knife for those situations i like it a small compact traditional design it, it, it's kind of a work of art but i also I say hidden away. I don't carry a knife when I'm where I'm not legally allowed. So disclaimer: obey your local knife laws. Kids don't play with knives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> knives are sharp, and they cut things. So the next thing is the uh, cadet. So if I don't like, if I don't have this guy on me, then if I want to have some other tools, then I'll have my little cadet with me. And of course, it it has that pen knife that I just showed you. Uh, as well as bottle opener, can opener, and uh, screwdrivers, and a nail file. And then I have a little paracord lanyard on, on it. Another item I keep on me this in uniform, I'll always have this one, as well as the next product that I'm going to show you in my uh, front pockets. And this is from Olight. This is known as the M1X Striker. It has mode memory, so it will remember what setting you like to keep it on. And then it even has a strobe function and a momentary on with that teal, uh, that rear uh, tail clicky switch. And I also like that the strike bezel right there. It's, it's pretty good knife, uh, pretty good <laughs> flashlight. It's held up for a while. Uh, about a year I've had that. Oh, let me show you the one that I always have in my front pocket as well. So if I'm in uniform, I'm going to be carrying this Manix 2. This is the lightweight version. Both of these are. There is a bigger version of the Manix as well as a G10 version, but I like the lightweight version because it's under three ounces and you basically get a full size knife that uh, is very comfortable in hand. So I always have the Manix 2 in uniform and whenever I'm walking around the house, even when I'm filming these videos, I'm not going to be without my Spyderco Delica 4. So love this knife. It's even smaller and more lightweight than the Manix 2. And then moving on to what I keep in my Leatherman sheath. So it may surprise you that I keep a Leatherman in there. <laughs> and this is the Leatherman Wave. This is the flagship of Leatherman. Enough said, if you want more information, you check out those links below. And then I keep a little flashlight. This is a Streamlight Micro Stream, uh, as well as a little bullet pen. I like having these capabilities or in a backup flashlight as well as a big collider with me as well and then if you guys have checked out my fixed blade uh, knife video you guys have seen me talk about the guardian 3 from bradford knives it, i really love the handles i love the ergonomics and i love the way that this performs so highly recommend it the sheath makes this um, an even better option than uh, some of the other fixed blades that are out there, especially for the size. Um, but basically, I forget that I even have it on me. And then moving on to this unusual phone case from Klecker Knives. Now, mine is a 3D print version that they sent me. I don't know if they'll have this for your phone, but I'll leave that link down below for where you can find the, these stowaway tools from Klecker Knives. But 
these tools in, that I'm choosing to carry it include the pen as well as the magnesium ferrocium rod, good pair of tweezers, and then a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver. And then finally, what's on my keychain? I keep a Leatherman Squirt a PS4. So this is basically a miniaturized version of a Leatherman multi-tool, as, uh, as you can probably tell. I really like it a lot. I also have a brass tag of Continue Mission, and this is $5. Blade HQ does a special every year around Veterans Day, and they donate 100% of all proceeds uh, to the, that nonprofit military um, charity. So I'm a big supporter of that. Also have a Tops Knives whistle. I like having the ability to, uh, well, to use a whistle in the woods, especially during field exercises. Uh, it, it actually is required that I have a whistle and a compass, so that's why I have both of them on me at all times, uh, just in case I don't have my gear bag with me. I also have a, this is called a Tinder Zip. This is from Exotac, but it's reflective, it's orange, as, and it also has Tinder um, inside of it. Another thing that's easy to find is this glow-in-the-dark uh, lantern thing. I don't know the correct name for it, but this has been glowing in the dark for me for about three years now. It's easy to find my keys because of it. And then the last couple items is this Exotac Nano Striker XL. So it's got a ferrocium rod as well as a striker uh, two-in-one right here. So I've got a fire starter as well as a fire tinder on my keychain. Of course, we got a knife and whistle and everything else. And the last but not least, uh, this has come in uh, very handy <laughs> when I did not think I would need a flashlight because I, I ran outside for whatever reason. All I had was my keys. It's good to have a little flashlight on you at all times. So Now, around the house, I also, like I said, I, I keep items on me. And there are three that I have on me while I'm filming this. I already showed you the Spider Cut. Spyderco Delica 4. I also have this Olight um, S1 baton, and this is the uh, titanium version, but that's a little bit, it's kind of a more expensive version, but I just, I just like the look of it. It's kind of like, I don't know, eye candy, I guess. And then the last thing that I have is I'm walking around with this neck neck, and I've just been keeping this on me around my neck, and it has what my car to handle so that's really good for wet conditions which it's wet a lot in Europe in the winter and then got that Scandinavian grinder MSK means mini Scandi knife so really like this knife and highly recommend it as well as all the products that I carry on me every day because you know that's why I carry them on me every day put the neck knife back in let me know your thoughts as well as what you guys carry on you on a regular basis let me know that in the comment section down below y'all stay safe out there and remember it pays to be prepared god bless